And welcome back. I know I, I had to leave and come back. What I did was I changed everything over to survival again. And um, yeah, we're going to do some more testing today. And we're going to use the hydrator. Um, I'm not even going to play around. I'm just going to get right into it and make one. I'm pretty sure I'll have the resources to do so. Well, let's take a look. Um, it is going to require red dye. I don't know if I've got any red dye. So let's go ahead and find that real quick. It shouldn't be a problem. Um, the, these flowers here are added by flaunters. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool mod. It adds like a lot of little neat looking decorative flowers and they're also really good for dye. Um, but let's go get some red dye and yellow dye. Let's just to make sure we got it. Um, once again, there's a vein miner. Once you get one single flower, I don't really have to get more. You can actually use a uh, bone meal to create multiple dye. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some blue. I don't really need blue because I have infinite lapis now. Um, there's some more. So either the red poppies or the these begonias will do it, I guess. Let's see if the begonias do it. Yep. Or of course beetroot. Beetroot can do it too. Um, I did change another thing too. I made it so that the Minecraft Dungeons has been converted over to this. So there's a mod that adds Minecraft Dungeon creatures to this. I think it's Minecraft Dungeons. It adds all the creatures and stuff from that mod. Oop. And I, this guy right here, I hear him. You miss me, buddy. All right, I went ahead and I, I nerfed the, uh, the bowman a little bit uh, as well. So once again, just to make things a little bit easier, um, I did nerf some things. Uh, the ants that were showing up were a little bit too rough, and I didn't think that was fair. What am I missing now? The yellow dye. Do I have any yellow flowers? I did not collect any yellow flowers. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and edit the time scale, which is going to be kind of a thing, I hope, to make it so that it's daylight a little bit longer. Uh, it's annoying for uh, many people that it becomes nighttime so fast, but I don't know. I might just leave it the way it is. It seems to me like the timing is a little off, to be honest with you. And I think others have noticed this too. I, I don't know if it's true. Maybe it's just we get so entailed into working on certain things that we forget what time it is in the game and we just kind of ignore it and next thing you know, it's getting night again. But for the sake of... I want a pumpkin. Come on. Give me a pumpkin. I also edited the, uh, the scales of some of the protective golems as well. Uh, I fixed the furnace issue. I know I brought that up in another previous episode about the different levels of the furnaces, um, how much they cost to burn, the, the time scale, everything, and they were wrong. I, and I, I, I fixed them. I don't care. Uh, they don't know why, but they actually had a couple of them that were set where they weren't scaled correctly, so I fixed the scaling. Um, if you don't like it, I, you can change it back yourself. There is a config you can change. But I left it that way because... Honestly, it was scaled wrong, and I didn't like it. Now, I didn't mess around with the the duplication part of any of it. Come on now. What is going on here? Let's clear this out. Really? Well, I guess what? You know what? I can do. I'll just make this happen. Now, um, do I have any stone? I do have. Oh, I don't have these. Okay. Um, you got to be patient with slot link. Okay. It's still in this mod pack. It's still fairly early. I don't know if 116.2 and 3 have done everything, but I can tell you that it, it's not nearly complete. Um, I'm rich and I wanted to point that out so I can go ahead and do stuff like this. Um, see this golden apple? You're, it's not going to be the only one. I just uh, put that out there. I don't need a whole bunch of golden apples and stuff, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Now, I should stay fully saturated with health with regeneration for at least a little bit anyway, right? Wow, the, the resistance is more important, I guess. Anyway, I changed the gold um, on this. Uh, I, I changed the golems on this a little bit. So let's go iron... We're going to make buckets. I'm going to make more than a few because it's going to be useful for crafting later on down the road anyway. But I wanted to... Let's do... I have clay? 
I do have clay. That's good. So I'm going to make this crucible. And I'm going to make a cobble generator, which means I need lava. And do I have lava? I don't know if I went and got any or not. I don't think I did. No, I did not go get lava. So let's go get some lava real quick. Um, actually, we're going to go to the nether. Dude, I, I swear, that's like the coolest thing ever. I put a boat down and they immediately gravitate towards the boat. I think I'm going to do that from now on. I'm just going to put boats down and collect up. Now, they're not mad at you automatically, so thankfully I, I did make sure that that didn't happen. <clears throat> so, Sage, you can just change that over. I also dumbed down or turned down the uh, number of... Oh, jeez. Do I have my grappling hook? I do. Okay, cool. Gotta make sure your grappling hook's ready. Um, I don't have any golden helmets on, so I will get attacked by my Picklin buddies down here. Okay, I almost died. That was bad. I'm doing this as fast as I can so that I have time on camera to do all this. So, I do apologize uh, for for speeding along. Let's see, what's the easiest way to get down without crispy frying myself, huh? Um, yeah. So, I I changed the golems, the lava golems. They're really bad. Please don't cr crispy. Don't crispy. Okay. Woo, that was close. Now if I get back up there. Let's see. Can I overshoot it? I'm gonna die. I made it. Uh, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna burn up. Am I gonna burn up? I'm burning up. Ridiculous. The fire death thing, um, I want to point out. Yeah, I burned for an extremely long period of time. I don't know what mod adds that or changes that um, time. But I definitely burned for a lot longer than I should have. And that's fine. I showed that to you on camera. Um, but I did lose my stuff, didn't I? There we go. There's my death point right there. I probably should have went ahead and put on some things so I could live through this, huh? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Actually, what we're going to do is create the death point scroll. I don't know if I've showed you that or not. So why don't I go ahead and do it again? I'm getting a little excited because I'm, I'm, I'm super happy to release this mod pack. It's almost ready to go. There's only a few things I need to change. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the... Um, just type in death... And then you can make one of these death te teleports. There you go. Now, uh, it's expensive, and it requires bones. So it's not like you're just freely going to be able to create those. But, I mean, bones pretty easy to come by, right? Kill a few skeletons. Not too bad. The gold, obviously, I've got plenty of gold because of the passive resource gym. So now watch this. Hold it down. Boom. Right-click. Now I've got all my stuff. Now let's get the heck out of here, and... Before I make a whole bunch of... Where is it? Is it up here? I guess I could go up this direction first, and then I'll go up. So aim really high above. And it goes away, but you can really... Kind of, kind of manipulate yourself around the edge there. And there you go. Now I'm in a bad spot. So... All right. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I love the grappling hook. I can't I can't help saying all these great things about it. Now, did I make a waypoint? No, I did not. Oh, boy. I did not make a waypoint. I best find my way back, right? I'm back. A little bit of editing magic. Hopefully that worked out okay. Um, yeah, I died. Um, and I got another death teleport scroll just in case. Uh, let me just tell you this. You go to the nether, you're going to pay for it if you don't know what you're doing. Cinderscapes is in, uh, Mob Z is in, Eldrick Mobs is in. Um, there's also a couple other mobs in there, uh, mob, mob mods that are in this mod packet as well that make it quite more, quite a bit more challenging. Um, 
there's even some hidden bosses and things like that. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and cover real quick the um, hydronator, this hydronator thing right here. It's pretty cool. I'm going to put it right there just because I don't really. It's going to get dark on me now. Um, we're also going to cover a uh, crucible. No, uh, a, a cobble gen. Let's make a cobble gen. Boom. We have a cobble generator. Make sure you clear this. I recommend always clearing this uh, for whatever reasons. There are times where it doesn't let it go. Let's get some rest here. Like I said, I'm going to run through and cover this all as I, best I can in survival anyway. But I wanted to point something out that, I mean, I might as well be in creative when I have all these things available. So, I mean, yeah. But it's up to you how you want to do it. Obviously, I can now, with the um, seeds and all this stuff, I can actually create like a little box around this and be like, that's my storage room. And then go through this now so this is what the hydronator is a hide hydro raider hydro raider i don't think they meant to call it that i mean they probably meant to call it an hydronator so this is how this works um let me make a couple of these things the hydronator does what you would think a hydronator would would do uh, watch this so it's floating right pretty cool what it, what it is is anything underneath this causes uh, some effects. So let's not do that. Let's look at my deal here. We're going to go bucket because I'm pretty sure I got a bucket of water. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. Sand. Might be sand. And terracotta. Mm, rotten flesh might be one of them. There's a few recipes that I haven't quite finished messing with all right so let me i do have a good way of example so let's go d y e we have yellow wool for instance right you get to wash it and i'll show you how that's done here um, we're going to do this we're going to put water now lava can go under there too and that can cause effects i do believe that will wash you can see it progress takes a little bit of time boop Voila. Um, lava, I think, will cause that to change. Let me try sand. Will sand become clay? No. I know terracotta might become clay. Basically, it adds water to... If, if there's water underneath it, it basically adds water or washes things off. Uh, it cleans it up. I don't know if the tooltips works. Let me check and see. No, you can't right-click hydro hydro hydronator with it. Um, so I guess I could do a whole entire episode of nothing but that. But I wanted to get to where I could cover this cobble gen, and I'll show you how that works. We can make lava now. Um, I had some netherrack. So there are heat sources that are to be placed. For those of you that are familiar with, oops, I needed to make that a little bit lower. Well, that, that pick is super strong. All right, so there. There needs to be a gap. And what I'm going to do... Really? I'm froze? What a lag spike that was. Anyway. There is the highest level right there. Fire. Uh, torches works and lava works as well. But fire, for some reason, is the highest um, level of heat that is in the configs. I can change that if needed. But that's pretty much how that goes. I need a hover. Now, if notice there's a lag between when I open the, the um, slot link. There's always going to be a little bit of lag. It's, it's trying to look at a lot of stuff, and it doesn't really know how to do it efficiently. Uh, but it's trying its best. So this is going to be a cobblestone generator. Now it's going to continually cobblestone, right? And that's going to go into this crucible. And if you notice, it now is creating lava for me. It looks funky, it doesn't quite have the uh, effects it's supposed to have, but with the Wyla installed, or Hawila installed, I, you should now be able to create plenty, plenty of lava to suit your needs. And if you create multiple of these, you can create multiple things of lava, and then you can use that lava for various things. 
Uh, obviously, you don't really need cobblestone gen. gen. I don't know what that's doing. If you're quick, you might be able to sneak one out. But anyway, you can sit here and you can make a ton of lava. It just takes a long time for it to get going at first. And eventually, the cobblestone builds up and it just stops. Uh, I don't really know when or how long it takes, but that's going to be a long time. This is uh, configurable. There is a way of making it faster. You could literally make lava like super fast. It's up to you how you want to do it. So that pretty much concludes this episode uh, for now. And that's because I don't really want to spend too much time going over it. Like, I can't click this until it gets to it. Look, buddy. I know. You're ready to kill me. Wow, you really got some resilience. I turned down the their health. Their health was just a little too too much, especially if you're just starting off. I also turned down the spawn rate of ants and turned up the spawn rate of piranhas because piranhas are cool. You guys, get out of my boat and, and go away. I don't really need you. So that's all I got for you today. Uh, there are some more blocks that got added because of this. And I wanted to make sure that y'all got to see those. And so I just kind of want to cover those. Um, whoops. At convenient things. Um, that's the additions. This overkill is uh, for creative. So don't even bother. These diamond sickles, they work pretty good for large farms. I haven't really messed with them too much. I'll probably test those off. So yeah, you just keep on putting cobble into that bad boy. From here. Boom. There you go. You got your stuff. You can put different things on there. I don't really know all the different stuff. Um, let me see. Maybe stone can become cobble again. I don't know. Maybe it uncooks things. I have to take a look. I'll, I'll probably cover that in the next episode just so you guys have an idea what's going on. Um, and remember to be patient with slot link. That's my two key takeaways. If nothing else, I mean, look at this. Pretty cool. It sits there and, and holds your items. So, it's you know, it's kind of neat. Right? Otherwise, you can use it to wash off clay or wash off um, wool so that way you get the kind of wool that you want instead of whatever the sheep is that's around you. And that just adds to it. You can also use this to cook things. Uh, I believe it makes clay into clay bricks. If there's, a, there's not a very large recipe list, I'll cover that for sure in the next episode. But there you go. So you got the hydrator and you got the cobblestone generator, which will feed you a bunch of. You can use this for cobblestone um, in general, too. I mean, this is just one way of doing it. I don't recommend hooking it up to slot link. No, I don't. Um, you can if you want. You want to import it and then export it to a chest. Go for it. I uh, I don't know what will happen. So just use slot link cautiously. Uh, same thing goes with these plant in jars. You know, whatever you put them on. Just know that it's not meant to do crazy things. Use it wisely, and you should be fine. And we're going to start working on, in the next two episodes, we're going to start looking at doing some rubber work with the uh, rubber logs and collecting sap. I increase the speed at which the um, drain can collect sap so that way you can get into tech a little bit faster. And we're going to start looking at tech. So, yeah, thanks for stopping by. This is Souls 44, and this is also uh, Fabric of Souls OP Edition, uh, episode, I don't know, 11 or 12, maybe 13, 14, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, thanks for being patient, and please feel free to leave likes, comments, subscribe, whatever you want to do, and get a hold of me, and if you have issues, I can see what I can do to help you out. Um, I do also want to say that I am still on orders in a military position, I just happen to have a few minutes to do some real quick videos, and sorry about the choppiness of these videos and it being cut up the way it is but yeah i'm kind of in a hurry but i wanted to make sure i didn't miss any days if i could help it um i might still do that unfortunately so thanks for stopping by again Bye -bye.